All right, everybody, I got a new game in, a couple new games, actually, but uh, this one's Battle Above the Clouds, and I'm continuing to add to the uh, collection of the great campaigns of the American Civil War, which you cannot see there, but that's kind of the symbol for the, uh, actually, I think it says line of back um, in their series, actually has that little mark, too, but it does say volume eight of campaigns, of, great campaigns of the American Civil War, so I know it's not World War II, but um, I've tried to find a Civil War game of some interest and well i played this with uh not this one but a, a small scenario with jeff from hextex and based on that one experience i jumped in so and that's the only one i played so far but it is on my list of goals so it's a purchase and i was just kind of looking around and this and another one that i'll do another video on atlanta is ours got super good prices on um um, so anyway, and so let's just take a quick look. This is, I, I didn't even look. There's probably been unboxings on this. This is an older one, 2009, I believe is the, uh, is the date on that one. Yeah, 2009. So this is an older one with the new boxes and stuff. And they started converting the new boxes. I don't know all the history, but it's a Charlie Kibler map and it's really cool looking. He's been doing the maps, um, for a while. And there was a hiatus period when he didn't. But, uh, um, so basically, you know, and as I've said, I don't know a lot about the big picture of the American Civil War, honestly. And so in great campaigns, for those who don't know, it's what it is. It's a great campaign. So it's not tactical and it's a very, it's all about maneuver and, um, kind of high level. So you're not, you know, fighting, you know, the guys and putting them on the hills to, to fight and knowing how many guys died and stuff like that. It's, it's sweeping motions and covers b wide areas, but that's really good for me. Um, uh, because I don't, you know, really know it and it just, it's suiting me. Um, some people who really know the history say that these can quickly go off the, uh, the historic rails, um, which again is okay with me cause I don't really know the history, <laughs> but, but the historical characters, the spots, I mean, the U S I mean, all this stuff is, it's very historically researched. I think you can just do things that maybe are a little ahistorical. So it's like playing um, a simple, you know, well, like some of my Victory Awaits, Victory and Ides, or maybe some of the games that are a little simpler, World War II, and it's like you can quickly go off the rails and it doesn't really follow the path that the real war did, which some, you know, it's good or bad. So it depends on how you look at it. But anyway, so Battle Above the Clouds. Um, so it's uh, the Battle of, or the Campaigns, of Chickamauga and Chattanooga and um, so let's just take a look at what's in, what's in here medium complexity uh, the thing well let me let's just open up let's take a look here what's going on so this is a used game both both games I got are used um, and uh, that's my receipt uh, so the, the cool thing about them you get two rule books in all of them you get the uh, system rules so this came with 1.1. They're up to 1.4 or something, I think. I've got the latest rules. I just had them spiral bound because I have a goal to play Jeff and a local guy a couple times, one to six times. Um, so, you know, I don't need these. Um, I didn't even look at them. But it's in good shape. The person I bought it from only played this one. It looks like maybe the short scenario. Um, so it's, just so you understand, it's 28 pages of rules which is a lot, but there's basic and um, advanced rules. And the cool thing about this system is, is that you can play a lot of games in the basic rules. I almost see it like starter kit. Actually, I just now thought of this starter kit and advanced ASL, not to that level of complexity at all, but you know, you got ASL starter kit. It's a great game. It's a complete game. You can play your heart's content. There's a hundred and plus official scenarios. And now, and of course, if you want, you go to ASL and you can play, you know, even more scenarios. <clears throat> but you could be happy with ASL SK. Uh, well, I feel the same way with this one with the basic game. As of right now, based on what I, you know, what I know about it. There's so much to do here. So, and then this... This book here, this is what this is the part about the game I like so much. This is a 68-page book. 
you know, kind of glossy magazine type material. The paintings are really great on all the on the boxes on the uh, thing. So this, this I think I see it a little bit more in Atlanta as ours. So this game itself has nine nine scenarios. Actually, it has ten. Um, oh, it actually, has eleven. Twelve. The reason I'm saying that is it's got one, two, three, four, four. Five, six, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. The ones that are double are like free, free setup and historic setup. Okay, so look, it just it's blowing my mind again. Now this one has is not that split. It's got um, we'll say seven, but it's actually eight, nine, uh, basic, and three advanced. I mean, I don't know those historic setup versus not. I don't know if that's really you know it's campaign. That's interesting that they named label them different. Or the same number. Because I guess it is really the same scenario. So I guess there's nine. But usually it's, the, at least the ones I've seen are more split. But but here's the thing. So right, right there, this is almost a ba almost all basic game. Um, and so then the scenario starts right there. So it's only six pages of special rules. And then you got scenario one which is four turns. I think the next one might be, yeah, but that's a lot. That's a lot of, you know, those are all units there. And then this one is one turn. So the thing I played, Jeff, it might've been one or two turns. I think it was one turn, but see, you could activate people more than once. So, and I'd, I'm going to get this wrong, but maybe activate them one to four times. And that may be wrong, but there's a one turn is not a turn. It's many turns within that. So it's pretty amazing. And the cool thing is, so like um, they have, so advanced game rules include like strategic movement, railroad movement, supply, and you know, um, I think in the official rules you're like burning, um, burning supply depots. And I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff, but there's, but without that, there's a ton of stuff in the basic game. It's just, it's just, I get so excited every time I see this. I'm like, you could own one game and be good especially like well for me since i'm not it's not my going to be my primary you know focus world war ii is i really only need one game but you know i'm a gamer so i have to get everything uh so this was started to be punched he bagged so um i'll sit here for him i'll try to be still here for a minute and let you oh, i gotta get rid of that just let you look at some of the counters there So supply wagons, Wolford, Woodsea, you know, and then it's got the, the, the leaders are on there with faces and I think it's their face. Yeah, it looks like it. So that's pretty cool. So that's the kind of thing. I just, I need to pick up some broad histories of, of, um, the civil war kind of sweeping like those books that I see for world war two. I'm like, okay, I don't really need that. But for civil war, I do. Got rain, cavalry ford, cavalry ford. It looks seems like there's more game markers than there are actual uh, combat markers. Destroy bridge, organization, disorganized. It is a game, a gamer's game after all. And then here's some of the counters came like that. Then you got you know your two MMP dice, which I really like those dice by the way. Um, you know, it's, it's nice and thick. They're kind of glossy. Um, and then I don't even know what all this stuff means, right? So turn tracks, they're separate. That's kind of cool. Union force display, force three. Oh, I think you can put, so you don't have huge stacks. I think you can put stuff in there. Uh, these are all the charts. Yeah, I won't use these charts, but they're very clean. Nice looking charts they have here. Um, this is a fold, trifold, or bifold thing. And then you just get some of the details there. Um, nice, seems very helpful. Battle above the clouds off map theater display. Okay, that's kind of cool. If you're playing a large campaign, I guess you can have people moving. Oh, there's the maps there. Oh, the maps are there. And then the off map, that, okay, that's pretty cool. And so let's see if I can find a nice example to show. So there's Cumberland Plateau. Maps are great. I mean, I love the maps. They're fantastic. 
Um, I was just trying to see if there's a town I know. No, it's not the Georgetown I know, probably. Not, I'm not seeing any big cities here. Maybe there aren't any. But the cool thing here is that they, like, include um, Cutner's Mill, uh, Widow, Looney, Seminary, Grayson's Mill, like how you would say it. I mean, that's the way it was. There's Okay, you go down to Fairmont Academy and you turn right and you'll get up to the Levi's Land. I mean, it's just so cool. I don't know. It, it's... Pretty fascinating. Oh, there's Chattanooga. There's a city we've all heard. Uh, looks like you got the Ford. It, oh, the Browns Ferry. Oh, my goodness. It's very, yeah, it's very iconic. I mean, it, it's it's pretty cool. So let's, um, I'm going to spread all these out. I'm going to pause this and spread them out. Okay, so it's a little glossy for me. It's not bad. Um, so here's Jack. So it's cool. It's got the counties. And then I think some of that matters about control and stuff. But, um, oh you know, yeah, Tennessee and Alabama. So Jackson, Stevenson. So Lookout Mountain. And then you go all the way up here. Dalton, Blue Ridge. Kahoot Mountain. I'm saying that wrong. Just look. I mean, that, I love the map. It's a little darker on the camera than it is in real life, but wow, what is that? This is pretty, well, it's called Battle Above the Clouds. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, I I just get pumped up looking at these things. Um, and I played, kind of like on an OCS thing, when I played the Blitzkrieg Legend, I played this little tiny section. I was like, well, I can't even imagine. I played on the first game I played with Jeff. Again, it wasn't this game. But it was like this much area, and there was so much to do and think about. It was awesome. So anyway, that's Battle Above the Clouds. Um, excited to get excited to get that good deal. Uh, thank the guy that I bought it for for the. Um, I found him on Board Game Geek, so that's pretty cool. So thanks to you if you watch this. Um, now I'm just mission mission. I'm just mission Stonewall Jackson's Way too. And there's a couple older ones. I'm not going to worry about those um, because I'm not going to worry about them. Maybe they'll remake them. And I've heard they might remake this one sometime. And, you know, Battle of the Couch too, because this is an older one. But, um, anywho, pretty awesome. And uh, look forward to getting it, uh, getting it on the table. We'll see you.